episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at the second, well, second trailer, aka the official trailer for Maleficent, uh, Mistress of Evil. This is the sequel to the, um, I guess we could say right now, the first, the beginnings of Disney's dealers. You know, the Disney live action remakes. This is the first sequel for one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the previous one, it turns out she's not that bad a guy at all, and the king of the princess aka sleeping beauty is just a total dick bag so in this one we find out that the mother of the prince is a total dick bag mm -hmm. so thanks to a commenter from our last trailer uh adrian i'm gonna butcher this adrian ali la prune this is their words uh michelle fire does play the princess mother in this mm -hmm. um it, it takes brief at least yeah i'm gonna put it brief but it, it kind of takes a little bit from what was what was more or less the sequel to the Sleeping Beauty book, uh, which is the one. Di uh, yeah, it takes a little bit on the Charles per Pearl version of the fairy tale, which is the one Disney based their movie on. Uh, yeah, there's they add a little bit of a sequel to it where um, the prince's mother is the villain, pretty much, who wants to, I guess, eat Sleeping Beauty. There was not mine. Yeah, so it yeah. sounds like they're trying to take uh -huh. a little bit from that. And try to twi give it a little twist and turn, because from the last teaser we got, it looks like she was trying to set up Maleficent. Yeah. It looks like she sets her up, making her look like, again... The villain. The villain, pretty Which much. She and is, yeah. She is, technically, but making her look like the bad guy, Now that's where Maleficent's like, no, 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 no. You know, it's like, you don't want to mess with me. So, let's just dive right into this and get, hopefully, a little bit more story of what's going on here for the first official full trailer... For Disney's Maleficent. So here we go. Mistress of Evil. Mistress of Evil. That too. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, why are you watching Trail for the first one? <laughs> Yeah, it's like all black and then it's like brown. It's like toned down colors. Oh, she's pissed. Oh, she legit. Okay. Well, unless she knows something, you know. No, no, no. I, I'll explain later. <laughs> It's, uh, Be careful for your own. There's more, of, more of her. It's uh the actor who I never can pronounce his yeah, name. Yeah, I can't right. pronounce his name, but so there's more of her kind. So no, what it seems like is she's not really going full on evil. It's just because of her ex personal experience with love, when she sees that uh, the print she's engaged. That's why she's really pissed. That thing, and, and, and and that's the, that, no, but the, what it is is the the queen knows how to how, knows her, how to hit the right buttons against her. Knows yeah. the right words to say to make her snap, to make her look like she's, you know, I'm the good, I'm still the good guy here. 
you're, you know, she's the bad guy, you know? So that's why it's like, so you see her, her smiles, yeah. much as she knows how to manipulate. She knows how to talk and knows how to hit the right buttons to get them to snap. Right. And that's what happens is that she does it to the point where she gets Maleficent to snap going, there's no going to be, there's not going to be a wedding. And that's where it all pretty much kind of begins. That's where the craziness begins. Yeah, I think it's going to probably show that by the end of it, you know, the, like, Maleficent will probably want, like, peace or something or, like, a truce, but, like, like, and Aurora's all for it, and, like, the... Especially the way show. they ended this trailer, pretty much, showing how there's more of just, just her. There's more, you know, there's others like her. There's a whole group, as you can tell, the full room full of them. Yeah. It looks like of, of her well, own she, kind. Because she, by the end, well, in the first one, she thought she really was the last of her kind. Yeah, why. and here it's showing that her kind is still living and kicking. Yeah, yeah so I think, yeah, that's what's going to happen. There's going to be, like, a truce, or is all for it, but then, like... The, the queen is like totally again like snaps and it sets up as a trap for uh, Maleficent you know possibly well, I can see that I know the subtitle says Mistress of Evil but you know if you've seen the first film they kind of like tweaked it a bit to where they made Maleficent more or less look like the good guy in that situation yeah that's what they're know? trying to do here to try to make it seem like she's going full on evil and stuff like that and everything so it, that's what you know that's what these trailers are meant to be set up as if they keep them yeah. up like this it don't really show any type of point where it's like, oh, I'm good, you know, or it's like, let's do this truce, you know, then, you know, it's like, you're selling the character. Yeah, um, but overall, though, I think for those who liked, um, the first, the, the first film. If you really liked the first film, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy this film. I wasn't too fond of the first film. I get um, it. Like, like what we discussed about with Mul the Mulan teaser, I liked the first film, because the first one, because, unlike, the what I would call, my opinion, the copy and paste we got with the other DLRs, like Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, yeah. to an extent, and even um, Aladdin, you know, you know, Deans have felt, you know, this was actually trying the tweak, you know, yeah, sure, it went with the whole, you know, one of the most iconic villains in Disney history, eh, it may have a lighter side to her, but, you know, that may have worked. I'm not saying it was a good film, but I, I enjoy what they tried, they attempted to do. You know? As I said, I, I, that's why I said I enjoyed certain parts of it. I, I, I have I had a good time with with certain parts of it, but I still wasn't like too fond of the way they took the route because again, it's you know this this uh, that's a new route these films are now taking even in comic books and that is you know let's see the origins of like this like yeah. this villain and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and based off of what I've seen for a sequel, Disney's probably kind of understanding some people's like hate towards the first one because they made Mistress uh, not Mistress uh, Maleficent more of a liar character it looks like they're they're trying to make it to a bit more she 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 has a bit more like a tweener thing you know where she does have evil tendencies but you know in the long run she I, does I, do, I, wants I, to do what's right for I, her I'm, I'm still one of those that's on board that still has doubts about this one only because like I said if you if you had doubt you know after watching the first one if you weren't a fan of the first one pretty much or he thought it was all right, um, but you know, and you see this, I, I, you know, I'm probably on board with the others like that, pretty much. Where it's like, I would not, no, I probably would not see this in theaters, but I'll probably watch it later on yeah. for my own personal, like, personal time, pretty much, because it's, like I said, it's, it's something where I still, I've seen films do it in a better route. With here, it's Disney. They're trying to Disneyfy it, pretty much. They're trying to show. Oh, Maleficent still, you know, there's every, you know, show, trying to show that all oh, there's good in everybody, no matter how evil they are. You know, that's what they're trying to really, truly really trying to portray. But there are times when it's like, really, you don't know the truth, you don't know the actual story about this here. It's like, it's kind of, she's really dark, you know. So that's the only thing, that's the only concern I have for me personally. Like you said, maybe that's what they're trying to do with this one. They're trying to make up for the fact that, you know, she needs to go full evil, you know. We need to see her go as evil as she can be and stuff like that in this one. Who knows? But like I said, I am I still have my doubts. So. so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about uh, DLRs, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Now, don't don't take offense pretty much. Like I said, I mean, that's just my one opinion. You have other opinions that you can listen to. You don't, I'm not saying to listen to mine specifically. Like I said, everybody has it. So you enjoyed it. If you had a great time with the film, the first one, 
then awesome for you, pretty much. I know my wife loved the first film, and I don't complain with her. I don't argue with her. It's her, it's her own opinion, pretty much. You know, she understands I have my opinion, she, and I said she has her own. But you know what? It's, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't push the issue. But if you enjoyed it, go have at it, pretty much. Go have fun and watch the sequel. Have a good time enjoying it. Put down what you enjoyed about this trailer, what you enjoyed about it, what you most likely noticed it, that maybe we didn't spot or anything like that or bring up um, for this trailer. But uh, thank you. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kirsten. I'm Christopher. This has been a very Mistress of Evil filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.